Hey guys, week eight, spent the whole time designing a creature, well, spare time anyway, and it was amazing. I really, really enjoyed the whole process. It was super fun. Been looking forward to this for ages now, actually. But yeah, so I uh, started off in ZBrush and was using it as a amazing concept tool, I guess. You can just literally sculpt whatever the hell you want and uh, yeah, play with it like you would be just playing with just regular clay. It's a excellent, excellent tool if you've never used it before. It's very, very fun. Anyway, I went ahead and uh, sculpted a bunch of designs here. Now, a lot of these are really, really bad, if not all of them, but they're they're just basic, and I, I kind of take a little bit from each of them as I move forward. That's kind of the way I work. I don't, I really don't put a lot of time into these. So, yeah, so this one here, for example, I was just focusing more on the, the stretched skin, the melted look, that kind of thing, and I was digging it. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I carried on with it. I thought maybe I should make it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more human looking, as opposed to this, this kind of feeling a bit more like a creature. Started to play with the proportions a little bit. This was looking too fishy, or just this wasn't really uh, feeling it. Even with like, kind of sort of throwing some hair or something, it just wasn't doing it. So I thought, well, why not just throw the tentacles in? Why not just see how it looks? And yeah, that kind of killed it. And I was like, all right. We're done with that one. So I moved on. I uh, thought, you know, this thing has to talk in the next episode, which I, I don't know if I mentioned that before or not, but yeah, like, he has to have a moat and all that kind of stuff. So I don't think this guy's going to be able to handle that anyway. So I went with a more human, emaciated, kind of zombie looking thing, something more generic. And I thought I'd start here and uh, went to tentacles, sort of slap them in, see how that would look. I didn't mind this actually, it was okay, but they kind of felt like dreadlocks or something, and I started to think, how am I going to, are these going to be moving around on their own, are they going to be like snakes or something, it's kind of like Medusa or something. So anyway, I carried on with it, started to do the body, but I just, I got so bored of working on this one that I thought, you know what, it's just going to show, like if I'm bored on this, I'm, I'm going to be bored animating it, it's just going to kill the motivation, and this thing's it sucks anyway, so I'm like, this. I gotta cut it right there. You know, you get very um, discouraged at this kind of stuff too. You're like moving along, like, oh, I'm just never gonna get this. But I just kept going with it, and this next image pretty much killed me. You're gonna laugh at this one, but this one right here, yeah, I was like, oh, I just can't get this. And I, I think I cried that night after this one. But you know what it did? It stopped me going for tentacles. So, you know, thanks to this image, I, I decided not to put any more tentacles into this and just focus on the actual uh, creature itself and just forget this crap. So I moved on to uh, the emaciated zombie again. I thought I'd start here and maybe just do a subtle change to it because this thing, like I said, has to speak and this, this will be totally fine speaking. But just do something a little bit different to it. You know, it doesn't have to reinvent the wheel or nothing with these things. Just do something that just is cool with it. So that's what I did. I tried to just play with the, the like the actual surface texture of the skin. I thought maybe you know we could do something with that. Now these images are I'm about to show you now are really really terrible because they're just playing with like the surface. So this one right here, I was like, well maybe it could be all like manky and things like that. But yeah, I wasn't really digging that one. And then we uh, went to a. Uh, more sort of rigid approach to it and I know this looks like crap but what it did is it triggered in my mind it got me thinking about the script and how actually these things are formed by like an alien energy like they're not there's no t-virus there's no there's none of that stuff they're they're literally zombies but they're formed by like this this sort of alien energy so it makes sense for them to have some sort of I don't know, some some etched in detail or something like that. So, you know, that this is where this one uh, kind of led me. And uh, from there, I went to this, which is brutal, but some weird magma golem or something. But we have um, this introduction of glow, like a glowing in the channels of these things. And it got me thinking in a totally different direction. And so I'm thankful for this crappy image, just for that. So then I took the regular zombie again and just kind of went with the 
the little channel etchings or whatever, but did it very, very simple. I just did some lines. And as simple as this was, it was pretty effective for me. I was like, you know what, this is pretty cool. So this is actually a paint over in Photoshop. So I took this image and just kind of painted some lines on it and painted the teeth in and some highlights on the eyes just to kind of get a feel for it. And I liked it. I thought this was pretty cool, but it just it's missing something. I don't know. So I took it back in a ZBrush and started to put like weird techy little details on it. And then back into Photoshop again, where I darkened everything up and kind of made it feel like it was in a bit of an environment and played with the glow. So this this image here, just to really get a feel for it. It looked pretty cool. I like it, but it just feels like a demon or something. So I, I kind of changed the color on it and uh, and I stopped. I thought, you know what, this is actually all right. I don't mind this. This feels like fun to animate. This feels like it's going to be a lot of fun to, to play with. And it looks like, you know, there's, there's been some alien presence involved with the creation of this thing. It, it looks it looks like it, it would fit with the script pretty well. But then I was really worried about um, the animation of this stuff and getting it all together. And is it going to look okay? And marmoset at this point so I, I literally took it as it was in this kind of basic form uh, just threw it straight into Maya just exported it as it was from ZBrush and just threw a rig on it so it's all decimated geometry it's just all kind of slapped together and built like some weird tablecloth t-shirt I don't know whatever it's just a simple placeholder just to kind of show that this thing is going to be wearing clothes and uh, then I just animated it like with a bit of motion catch just dropped it on so he's just doing a usual zombie thing so it's very generic but I put this in a marmoset and I really wanted to play with the glow all right so that's the whole reason for doing all this so that's exactly what I did so I put it in here I threw a subsurface scatter shader on it and a like a like, I'm not sure what the shader is called but it's got like a, a fuzz on it it gives this look of fabric, which is really cool, just for the pants. Uh, but yeah, I'll play this for you. And what I did do was I added an emissive map to this. Now, it's really, really basic. It's just scribbles, literally. But it's keyed on at the point where this thing becomes alert. And it's so effective that it's just got me, like, so into working on this and, like, you know, moving in this direction. So I think with detail, this is going to look really cool eventually. So here it is. So yeah, I'll play it again for you. You see, as he turns, becomes more alert. He's just full glow. I think this is really effective, and I think after this shot from last week, where he uh, where he walks up to the window, and he's just looking in there, he's going to be staring right at this guy, probably in a similar position, but this is going to be inside the room. I just don't have any room interior stuff right now, so that's why he's out in the hallway. But, yeah, you just imagine him being looked at, and he just kind of turns, becomes aware, and just starts glowing. So I think it's going to be really cool. So <laughs> really excited to move on with this. So if you're not following or subscribing, you're crazy, because this stuff's awesome. <laughs> so check it out. I'll see you next week. Bye.